man lives by the words of God. He is the mediator of the new covenant. When you see him, you have seen the Father. When you see him, you have seen man. You have seen animals. You have seen birds and fishes. You have seen earth, seen love and truth and righteousness. He is the embodiment of the Godhead. Do not search for God in the sun or in the moon nor in the star but in our Lord Jesus Christ. Once you accept him you have eternal life when you surrender yourself to him. Who has ever fought against Satan? Have you not heard that our Lord Jesus Christ was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted of the devil? He was at the end victorious when he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He was afterward and hungered. When Satan came to him, he told him, If you are really the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. But our Lord Jesus Christ told him promptly, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Then Satan took him to the city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If you are the Son of God, cast yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time you should dash your foot against the stone. The Christ retorted immediately, It is written, You should not tempt the Lord your God. Thirdly, the Satan took him to an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glories and said unto him, All these things will I give you if you only fall down and worship me. Our Lord Jesus Christ told him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, the angels went and ministered unto him. Brethren, this is the time for the glorification of the Christ. He has dominion over the heavens and the earth, and he has given us the right to be the children of God. And this explains why the world, why the world is shaking. The Christ, the new covenant. You are not a child of God because you have love or because you are worthy, but because of your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Since you believe that he is the first begotten of God, you have, commun you have communion in the sonship of God. The people of old referred to him as wonderful. Some called him a prophet. If you call him any of these names, you fail. If you call him an apostle, you, you score zero. If you call him a pastor, you score not. But he is the Son of Man, the Son of God, and God himself. That is all he is and no other. Remember that our text is that if you believe and have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, you have the right to be the children of God. If you regard him as a physician or a lawyer, you fail. But if you believe that he is the only Savior to whom you are 
saved, then you are saved. If you believe that He is the only way, the only life, and only truth, then you are saved. Right from the time of Adam, even till today, no person has pleased God. From that time up to the end, there is found no one who can please God. He is the he is the mediator of the new covenant. That is the middle. And between Adam and our Lord Jesus Christ, and between the Christ and the end of things, he is the porter. You cannot see the Father unless you pass through him. And you cannot see any other person except you pass through him. He is the way. He is the mouthpiece of God. He is the Alpha et Omega. He is the governor. He is the president, the prime minister, the monarch of all the surveys. He makes intercession. All the prayers you offer do not rise up to anywhere. They all circle round like weed on the ground. All your requests are done through him for he makes intercession for all of us. You who claim that you do not know him, where will you be if everything has to pass through him? Anything done by the Father is through him. And everything you see is signed by the Father. The Father himself cannot do anything except through him. No one can do anything except through him. What do you think of such a being? He is, is he an ordinary human being? Surrender yourself now to him and accept him. The world, it is known, does not accept him. The eagles hover where the carcass is. Go to the sun, go to the moon, the stars. You merely waste your time. Nothing makes you a child of God. You cannot enter into the kingdom except through him. There is no other kingdom except that of Jehovah God and his Christ. He has already warned that if somebody tells you that Christ is found in the desert, you should not go. Or that he is found in the secret chamber, you should not go either. Because as the lightning passes from one part of the sky to the other, so is the coming of the Son of Man. And the disciples ask him, where will this happen? And he said, wheresoever the carcass is, there the eagle will hover around. As I am here, I have not attained this position because of prayer I offer, or because of making frantic requests, or by bribing, or by dint of hard work, but I am ready made. The result of what has already been obtained, the result of what has already been ordained, this is only the beginning and you will see greater things. All those who reject our Lord Jesus Christ should repent. Those who confess that they do not know him should repent. And those who resist his rulership should also repent. This is the time of the glory of God. As the Christ had said, that this generation shall not pass until everything is made consummate. His glory 
is neither the beginning nor the end. It is an eternal glory. As children of God, once you kneel down, knock your head on the ground and in sub and in subjection and in supplication make your request known to him everything is accomplished it is not true you have dint of hard work nor because of your worth but out of his merciful kindness you must be united in work through your words actions deeds and you must have love your problem is that you are still very carnal carrying the carcass of an elephant on the head but searching for snails with your legs you are children of god and joint heirs with the christ now the children of God have been revealed. If you are called a prophet, it is an insult. If you are referred to as a pastor, it is equally an insult. The correct situation is that you all are the children of God. Unlike the Christ, they all have been bestowed with the Spirit of God. And Isaiah the prophet said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and recovering the sight of the blind, and to set all liberty and to set all liberty to them who are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. You are all children of God and the Spirit of God has been bestowed upon you. You cannot deny that you are a child of God. Not carnal children, but spirited children. You are the children of God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Go to forth and preach to the people of the world over and over that they are all children of God through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, the second lesson will now be read. Second lesson, Galatians chapter 3 verse 26. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Brethren, have you heard what is read unto you? That is... The, that is to reveal to you that is to reveal you as the child of God it is not your money that has made you a child of God it is not because you have children or because you hold the chieftaincy title or by your high education or that your father was a king or because you have a large following but because of the faith you have in our Lord Jesus Christ it is this faith alone which has caused you to be the children of God it is not given by any human being neither is it given by your father nor your mother nor by but by the Almighty God. Spiritual and carnal things are incompatible. It is sacrilegious to compare the kingdom with money. This kingdom is faith, and faith is the substance of things of far the evidence of things not seen it is nothing which can be gained it is nothing which can be gained carnally 
which can be gained. It is nothing which can be gained carnally, but true faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have faith, why do you complain that somebody is not worthy or that the white man will not enter? Are you the only person to qualify for the kingdom? It is said, whoever enters not by the door into the sheepfold is a thief and a robber, but whosoever enters in by the door, the porter will open for him. Without faith, you cannot do anything. Can you give any reason why somebody withdraws from brotherhood and why somebody stands firm? It is faith. It is faith that keeps you firm in it. And it is lack of faith that takes you out. If you argue that somebody withdraws because of his sins, what about all sinful ones found around? If you argue that he withdraws because of fornication, what about many fornicators still found around? If you say it is because he indulges in the preparation of concoction, then what about the numerous necromancers we still have? Do not make such a statement again. For as many as received him, give he them the right to be the children of God. The Father is the greatest. What makes you a child of God? What gives you a share in the kingdom of God? It is faith. It is it because you pay your tithes or you build a house of God? These are secondary. Without faith, you cannot do anything. Will you also go? Remember that our Lord Jesus Christ had a lot of disciples. But when he spoke, they all disappeared. They all dispersed except 12 who stayed behind. He turned and asked them, Will you also go away? Then Peter, the spokesman, rose up and spoke on behalf of the disciples, saying, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. The disciples knew that he was the word of life, the way, the truth, and the life, the Son of Man, the Son of God, and God himself. If you depart from God, where also do you go to? If you reject the Christ, you reject life. People without thinking faculty, when our Lord Jesus Christ said, Whosoever does not eat of my flesh and drink of my blood cannot be my disciple. They ran away from him with the excuse that it was not easy to abide by such a doctrine. If you have no faith, it will be difficult for you to believe that he is the Son of God, the Lord of life, the only cock to crow. The scriptures have attested to the fact that whosoever professes to be a leader but abides not in the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ as neither the Father nor the Son, but any person who professes to be a leader and abides by the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ, he has both the Father and the Son. The church denominations only shout, Jesus, Jesus, but none of them abides by the doctrine of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even the so-called prayer houses and spiritual churches do not believe in him. 
those who glory in their membership of the secret societies are to be sympathized with. No government of the world believes in him, nor do they recognize this fact that he kept them in their various positions. No king or traditional ruler believes that he is placed on his throne by him. But from today, all kings, all emperors, traditional rulers, all clan heads, all chiefs, governors, presidents, all serve under him. All created on and uncreated things are also under his rulership. Give honor to whom honor is due. When you simply refer to him as Jesus, it is the height of insult and infradig on the personality of the Lord of life. The name Jesus was a common name among the Jews. He is he is no person's equal to be addressed as an ordinary man, but he is our Lord Jesus Christ. Who says in the name of Jesus? Who says he is a friend of sinners? There is no other cornerstone. He is the only foundation stone. Anything which does not emanate from him is not in existence. If you do not preach him, you preach nothing. If you do not include him in your prayer, you are not, you are most miserable. Anything done which is without his signature is ultra virus, null and void. The spirit of truth will lead you to the wisdom of truth. This is the time of his reign. The world says they do not know him, but I know him. He said it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. He also said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. How be it? When he, the Spirit of Truth, is come, he will lead you unto the accurate wisdom of truth. He shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. It is absolutely conclusive that the Father has bestowed all things unto him. He says, all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knows the Father except the Son. Neither knows anyone the Son except the Father. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. That was why he said, I am in the Father and the Father in me. The word that I speak, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwell in me. The words which I speak to you, I speak out of myself, but the Father who dwells, who dwells in me, he does the works. If you, therefore, doubt the Father, you doubt our Lord Jesus Christ. And if you doubt our Lord Jesus Christ, you also doubt the Father. Dear 
shall be one flock under one shepherd. When the voice asks in heaven who will go to the world to save them, no person answered and no angel responded. Only the king of kings indicated his intention to go. Who has ever known the world? As I see, you are only flippant, but who knows what is called love? Our Lord Jesus Christ is the King of love. Do you know how you were called into this kingdom? If not, no person has the right to utter any word. You have been told to demonstrate love. Only our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord of love. He has neither a deputy nor an assistant in this kingdom. You should therefore not struggle for any position. You are all the same flock under one shepherd. If you did not know in the past that you are neither a Nigerian nor an African, but a child of God. Through your faith, you have been redeemed in heaven. You now become the object of pride and perplexity and wonderment to both man and angels. Whenever you are looked for, you are seen. In the first heaven, you are seen in the second and third and fourth heaven as the case may be you are also seen you are seen in water in the atlantic ocean in the abyss in the sky in the sun and moon and the planets as you are very populous in this world so do you find people in water in other planets and in other planes of manifest and out in other, in other planes of creation because you all are the children of God in this kingdom it is only joy there is neither poverty nor death nor sickness neither are you cheated or oppressed for you are the children of God. Brethren, I do not wish to take you further than this. The golden text will now be read. Golden text, Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. And because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Brethren, have you heard that mystery? He says, Because you are the children of God, that is why God has sent the Spirit of His Son, Jesus Christ, into your heart, crying, Abba, Father, He is the King of Kings. If you go to tell any man, or prayer house, or church denomination, that the Father sends you, they will ask you, does your father know me? Go to the Orthodox churches and tell the members that the father has sent you. They will ask you, which father? Ask any member of the secret society. Maybe a king or a professor or a person of any in life and you will discover from the answer that they do not know the Father. Our Lord Jesus Christ was the only person who knew so well about the Father. That was why he constantly referred to the Father since he had known his position as the Son. He glorifies the Father by referring everything 
and making him responsible for everything. The Father also glorified him when he declared that this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. The Father is responsible for everything. Our Lord Jesus Christ was the Son. The Spirit of the Son. He has sent the Spirit of the Son into your heart so that you know that you are the children of God. That is why you have certain catchphrases like the Father passes through, the Father is doing his work as the Father likes it, the Father is responsible. These constitute spiritual language. Tell your boss in your office that it is the Father who promotes you. He will break his head. He will curse you that he recommended you for promotion, but you now say, is the father who does it? He said he is the father. He, you are saying that he is the father who is, is responsible for your promotion. Tell me the difference between you and the Christ. He was always referring everything to the father. He did it so repeatedly that Philip could not help but asking him, so us. The Father and that will satisfy us Jesus the Christ told him have I been so long with you and yet you have not seen you have not known me Philip his constant reference to the Father was an indication of his appreciation of all the Father had done for him since you recognize that he is responsible for everything, you should make constant reference to him. Forget about your tribe, but assume the sonship position. John taught his disciples how to pray, and the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ went to the Master and asked him, to teach them how to pray as John taught his disciples how to pray. And the Christ taught them to pray, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. That kingdom we have been praying for has now come down to us. Why do you always struggle for carnal things? Why do you get into politics? Why do you steal? Why do you go to the university? Why do you consult oracle and necromancers and look for carnal things whereas you are declared a child of God? Why do you consider your family, your clan, your tribe, your country? You claim to come from a certain clan in a BBO tribe of the Cross River State of Nigeria in Africa, are you really rational? Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again unto you and receive you unto myself, that where I am you may be there also. Where is he now? Where are you now? You are with him in heaven. This is the meeting of the spirited children and the spirit of God has been, has been bestowed to you. From now on, whosoever is blind, his eyes are opened. You are no longer a human being even though you were 
human in the past. But now, because of the faith that you have in our Lord Jesus Christ, you are a child of God. I only sympathize with those of you who are clannish, tribalistic, segregatory, ethnocentric, and egoistic. I want to do it the Ibibio way or the Igbo way or the Efik way. At any time you refer to any person as your friend or child or wife, you are covered with darkness. Do not say that something emanated from the blacks. It is not from the blacks, but from God. When you say that this is the first time a black man has done something tangible, it is not done by the black man, but by God. If you see a white man doing something, it is not done by him, but by God. What a black man does is done by God. God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. The governments of the world are falling. The schools, medical science, aeroplane, guns and steamships are not worth anything before God. The wisdom of God is the greatest. If you claim you have done anything, you are only a demented fellow. If you claim that you are a man from Lagos or Calabar or Port Haircourt, then you have failed. It is only Jehovah God and his Christ that you should boast. Do not bank your hope on any man. If you commit any act of sin, you will be punished. Those who fornicate will be punished as a fornicator. If you steal, you will be punished as an thief. If you commit murder, you will be punished. If you speak evil against any person, if you drink, if you smoke, if you snuff, it is not me punishing you, but the spirit which God puts in you, loss to envy. Do you think that the spirit you have is for nothing? That spirit does not allow you to tell lies. It does not allow you to fornicate, steal and prevents you from committing any act of sin. It is said that God resists the proud but gives grace unto the humble. He says, this is the covenant that I will enter with to the house of Israel after those days. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I shall not be it and I shall be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and a neighbor shall not teach his neighbor nor will a brother teach a brother to know God for they all know me from the least to the greatest for I shall be merciful to their, right, to their unrighteousness and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. This is time of grace. This is time of mercy. Everybody should surrender willy-nilly to our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a multiplicity of Christ of God. From now on, there will be no preparation of concoction. There will be no preparation of charm or there will be no tablet. There is neither man nor animal but Jehovah God and his Christ. No person owns himself. 
you are a child of God, son of man, son of God, and God himself. No person can think for himself. It is God who is all and in all. In this kingdom, there is neither day nor night, nor father, nor mother, nor children. You are the street of God. You are God's husbandry, God's building. You are the city of God. That is why when thunder or apparition or any diabolical thing is sent to harm you, you escape without harm because you are a child of God. Think of the time past. It was only our Lord Jesus Christ who was the only Son of God. At that time, he did not even assume his rulership. Can you notice how the world is shaking? Because God himself had said that at the fullness of time, God will shake the world and overturn it. Angels are at your beck and call. Call yourself what you may. Call yourself ghost or Christ or Jesus or God. Nothing will rear its ugly head. All angels are now quite ready to carry out messages, to carry your messages. They are all ready to work. All of them are at your beck and call. The moment you pray, let thanks and praises be to God, they will take orders from you. God is always with you. He walks with you. Parapass you. People usually complain that you do not walk alone. It is for this reason that they argue that what transpires in brotherhood does not relate to God at all. In spite of such argument, we do not clap hands. We do not light the candles nor do we burn incense, nor be drums. If you swallow tablets, that is the beginning of your problem. When you consult oracle, darkness overwhelms you. If you indulge in the preparation of concoction, your problem will be insurmountable. Angels are being sent to your houses as CIDs to eradicate all shaky and diabolical things. But now our joy is full in that our Lord Jesus Christ has assumed his rulership on earth. If you suffer with him, you are also glorified with him. He is fully glorified in this generation. Brethren, I do not intend to be tedious unto you. One stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.